show season is in full swing. As you prepare for the lights of the show ring, keep these helpful tips in mind. Halter breaking and taming your animal can begin as soon as you get your animal to your operation. When tying it, play music or run a fan so it becomes familiar with outside noises that it wouldn't hear in its usual environment. Once your animal is halter broke and used to being tied, begin washing or rinsing it. You can wash your animal once or twice a month with a mild soap. You'll need a hose with an adjustable nozzle, bucket, brushes, and soap. Depending on the time of year, you may also need an insect repellent. Wet the animal well over its entire body, starting with the feet. Work the soap into the animal's hair, then use a plastic scrub brush to scrub the animal gently. Be sure to scrub all over, including the lower and inside legs, belly, face, and tail switch. Once you have scrubbed the soap into the hair, it is very important to rinse the animal well using lots of water. Never allow soap to dry on the animal's skin or hair. It can damage the skin and cause flakiness similar to dandruff. Although you should only wash your animal once or twice a month or after showing, you can rinse your animal regularly. Many people rinse at least once, if not twice daily. A proper diet also helps the animal achieve healthy skin and a shiny hair coat. Once you finish rinsing your animal, you will want to remove any excess water using the backside of your scotch comb like a squeegee, pulling it down the animal from spine to leg or belly. Then, pull the hair forward using a comb or clean plastic scrub brush. Continue brushing the hair forward. A blower is a useful tool to get the hair dry and to train the hair to lay forward. Use a blower once you've brushed the hair in the direction you want it to lay. Continue brushing the hair as you blow it dry. Train the hair so it lays both forward and upward at a slight angle. To clip an animal, you'll need a chute, scotch comb, brush, show foam or shaving cream, a blower, clippers, and clipper oil or final bloom. Make sure the animal's hair is clean and dry. Apply the show foam to the animal's hair and brush it in. Start at the tail head and hind quarters and work it in using a brush and scotch comb in the same direction you've trained the hair to lay. Using large animal clippers, sometimes called flatheads, clip the hair off the face and head of the animal. Be sure to clip against the direction of the hair, up on the nose and forehead and on the cheeks. This helps to reduce lines and gives a more natural look. Clip the neck and the brisket and blend carefully with the goal of giving the appearance of a more extended front. Clip the long hairs out of the ears. Leave some hair on the pole to give your animal added length and a youthful appearance. Next, clip the belly from the navel forward. Be sure to clip between the front legs. You will want to blend the areas where clipped hair meets unclipped hair so there are no obvious lines. Small clippers or sheep head clippers work best for blending. Before you clip along the top line, you'll want to make sure the hair on the top line or back is standing up. Also, you'll want to be sure the animal is standing squarely on all four feet with its head tied up as if it was standing in the show ring. The goal to clipping the top line is to make the animal appear level when viewed from a side profile and to add width when viewed from behind. Next, clip the tail on the twist, leaving the hair on the switch and above the twist. From the front and back, you want the legs to appear straight. From the profile, you want the legs to appear to have some natural set to them. Once again, not all animals are clipped the same, so be sure to get a second opinion before you start clipping the legs. We'll bring you more showing tips in future episodes. We'll be back with the Angus Report in just a moment.